Today, All Access Music News has a special guest with us. It's Tom Gimble from Forner on the phone with me. Welcome, Tom. Oh, thanks, Barry. Good to be here. It's good to have you around. So you are known for your saxophone playing, of course, but you are so much more multi-talented than that, aren't you? Well, yeah. I, I play lots of instruments. I'll play anything they let me get my hands on. but. Uh, Primarily, it's rhythm guitar, saxophone, backing vocals, keyboards, flute, and uh, that keeps me pretty busy. Yeah, well, it keeps it, you know, you don't keep doing the same thing all the time. It's kind of nice to have, to be able to switch off. That's yeah, true. It, it, well, it's, it's always a challenge. <laughs> it keeps you on your toes. I bet it does. You know, um, you know, I have the new album, Foreigner, Feels Like the First Time. And I just love what you guys did with the acoustic. I mean, you're known for your rock and roll, your electric rock and roll, and that's what's made Foreigner history. But uh, what, what was it that made Foreigner say, hey, let's do some acoustic stuff? Yeah, that was nice. It was a, a, a sort of an adventure, a departure, you know, traveling into uncharted waters. We got in the studio, and it was like a bunch of mad scientists in a, in a laboratory, you know. We were adding all these new elements and trying new things. It was really cool, you know. I got to play some saxophone on Cold as Ice, which we'd never done before, and, and uh, other things like that. Uh, so we actually got into it because we do an acoustic version on stage of a song called Say You Will. And our bass player, Jeff Pilson, just an amazing guy, a ranger had done this acoustic version and uh, had it all parted out ready for us to try it. So it went so well that we said, wow, let's do a whole album like that. Mm. Uh, that was, it was a really, really cool uh, thing for us to get in the studio and, and treat these songs that way. You know, there's a lot of... Um rock bands that I don't know if they would take that, that, that leap of faith. You know, they sound good with, the, I mean, with, with a lot of electric, and, and, that, and they sound amazing, but to, to, to put yourself out there like that, uh, you know, with your vocals so up front, I saw you in Good Morning America do Say You Will one time, and it was, it, you know, it had, it had the reminiscence of Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. You guys were amazing. Oh, thanks. You're so right about that. It, it really is uh, kind of stripped down so you feel a little bit more naked you don't have the big loud amps and the crashing drums to cover up anything so uh, it's also a nice way to hear these songs and, and you can sort of appreciate how well crafted they are you know that's the test of a song if it's just the melody and, and maybe a piano or an acoustic guitar you really get to see the bare bones of the song and these songs are so so well put together and, and finely tuned as compositions you know Mick Jones just and Lou Graham both just got inducted into the Song Writers Hall of Fame. So that tells you right there what we're dealing with. And we feel very fortunate to have such great songs to work with. Well, that was well overdue. Yeah. You know, um, the songs are just, I mean, Foreigner has so, you know, Foreigner, a lot of bands are um, a part of history. There are so many great rock and roll bands that are a part of history. But, but Foreigner has gone so much farther than that, I feel. They, they actually made the history, not just being a part of it. You know, there was, I mean, it's, it's you, you've reinvented uh, something that you, we looked at and said, well, how can you make it better? You know, how can this be better? It's perfection. But, but you guys did. And that's it's a... a very, very interesting hybrid sort of amalgamation of uh, flavors that you find in Florida rock music. It's not a traditional sort of party rock band, you know, and it's not a heavy, heavy-handed rock band. It's got this really cool blend of, like, British rock with American uh, blues rock singing on top of it. So I, I agree with you. I think it's really kind of special, and, and maybe that's part of the reason why it stood the test of time so well. I, I'd have to agree. I mean, 36 years, 800, I'm sorry, <laughs> 80 million uh, albums. That's just, I mean, that's just amazing. Um, you know, about a third, uh, what, about a third of America has bought your album then, if that would have been the numbers. It's, um, 
you guys are you guys are um, have always been one of my favorite bands. Um, do, uh, do you um do you remember playing at on a side note? Do you remember playing at Agora Hills at a place called the Canyon Club a few years back? Were you there? Oh yeah, sure, sure. You, you know that that was before I got into you know got into the entertainment business at this end, and I was at a concert with a bunch of my friends and and went to see you, and uh, at one point Kelly Kelly Hansen, the lead singer, he he started running across our table. And uh, when he got right in front of us, the table collapsed. Oh. Yeah, and he went flying, and, and I always like to kid around and say, I saved his life. But a little melodramatic. But I, you know, but I did. I caught him, and uh, you know, he looked over and thanked me, and then got right up and kept going. Didn't miss a beat. But you know, it, it was always kind of cool. I was like, wow, you know, I was kind of there for him. That was very cool. But, you know. Nothing stops that guy. Nothing stops him. He fell off the stage once in Paris, France, and sort of cracked a rib, kept singing. We never even knew what happened. Oh. He was there, and we were just like, where'd he go? But he kept singing. He sort of fell under the stage, and he was singing from underneath the stage. <laughs> uh, so I think he was probably more uh, concerned about if he stole your drink than you know, how badly he fell. He just doesn't care. Oh, he, he's he's what a what a what a find! I I think at the time he said he's from the L.A. area. I don't know if he still is, but I think he said, yeah, yeah. He was kidding around saying, "Hey, we came in all the way from Topanga Canyon or something like that." <laughs> I said, "Wow, that's a ten-minute drive." That's for sure. So um, so you do. Uh, uh, going back to you for a minute, you you apparently you love playing golf, and uh, is is um is that your equal passion or? Our just a pastime. It's a great way to just just get out there and, and forget about life for a while. You know, I think it's what they call recreation is, is really recreation. You know, you do something that, that takes your mind somewhere else, and, and then when you come back, you're refreshed. You know, you're renewed. You're reinvigorated. Even if I don't know if that's a word, but uh, <laughs> it sounds like it should be a word. And it's just, you know, it's just really fun. I think that's why when we were kids, they would send us out, and have us run around. And then when you came back, you were, you know, sort of you know, ready to go again. And so I think, I hope that lots of people have something in their lives, whether it's bowling or fishing or you know, jogging, anything like that, some kind of activity, because I think it's so healthy for us. Yeah, it's funny because a lot of people, music is people's escape. You know, it makes you, really, it can make you relax or it can energize you. It's like, well, I'm always around music. I kind of like to do something that's <laughs> a little more quiet. <laughs> that's so true. That's so true. But even still, I, you know, I play drums and that's kind of like uh, exercise also. So you can combine the two that way and uh, it's, it's good, healthy workout. But there's so many great things that people do, whether it's tennis or volleyball, just, gosh, walking on the beach, riding a bicycle, some kind of activity that, that just lifts us up and gets us ready to go again with whatever we're having to do. You know, sometimes just those quiet moments at home with your loved ones that are, you know, that, that, that achieve more in life than anything else. Absolutely. Hey, um, so I'm uh, kind of wondering, um, we got the tour going on. Uh, where are you guys going to be going to next? Well, we are coming to your neck of the woods. Uh, that's for the, the Houston show. Well, on a Friday night, which is kind of cool. It's a good rock and roll night. Yeah, Friday night, uh, no. sep September 13th. Now, have you, I don't think you've, have you ever played there before? Uh, the Houston Arena Theater. I don't know if we have. I, I wouldn't be surprised. But you know, it's, we're a, always happy. it's yeah. an interesting stage because it's it's round and it spins. Oh yeah, those are fun. <laughs> you don't get dizzy, huh? No, no, it's very slow and it's gradual and, and it's really kind of cool. It gives everyone a chance to feel like they're in the front row, in the front of the center. And well, you know, it's just it's just nice, uh, especially when you're indoors. Uh, that means it'll be Friday night inside, so we won't have the sweltering heat to deal with. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but uh, this will be even nice and cooler. So uh, we're looking forward to it. Well, we're looking forward to having you come to the Arena Theater September 13th, 
and I'm sure all of Houston will come out there to see you. And we really want to thank you for your time, and, and um, you are a um, pleasure to, to speak to, and, and um, I've enjoyed my time with you, and thank you so much, Tom. Oh, thanks, Barry. We're always happy, because, you know, shows in Texas, just for whatever reason, they always seem to rock very heavily. You know, Texas is, is they do everything in a big way, and I think rock is no exception. So, <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're going to use it. Cool. This will be a good night. So, that's awesome. And, uh, hey, you know what? We'll I, down there. I just thought of one thing. I, 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 I got to throw this out. Do you have a favorite song or a favorite solo? I've always wondered that when I watch you on stage. I go, what is his favorite solo? <laughs> well, for me, it's, you know, it's, to, to get up there and play the saxophone on Urgent is such a thrill. I cannot put it into words. You know, you hit those high notes, it's like you feel like Gabriel. You could knock down a wall with your horn. You know, it's so powerful and so much fun. And to see the reaction of people, um, you, know, you just don't get that many opportunities to do stuff like that, especially with a saxophone. So that's that's something that I would have to say is, is one of my favorite parts. But I, I honestly, absolutely love every one of these songs that we do. Uh, you know, there's not a single one that I'm just kind of marking the time <laughs> to get through it. I really, really enjoy every one of these songs. And they're just great songs to play, you know, to see the audience joining in and, and becoming a part of the show. It's, uh, it's a treat for us. And so we feel very grateful and very fortunate. Yeah, Foreigner doesn't have any fillers. I mean, every one is, is, a, is a hit. Yeah. And, and I know it wasn't a fair question. It's like saying, which one of your children do you like the best? But it's, uh, all right, but, but, you know, that's my favorite, as a matter of fact. That's, I, you know, I wrote down solo on Urgent. It's just, um, it's just an, amazing, it's an amazing solo, and I'm not surprised you, you kind of like that one, one of the best. Uh, it's so much fun to play. And that, that song also, just the groove, has just got kind of a nice... Uh, almost like a funk R&B groove going that it's, it's really cool to see the people kind of moving you know to that beat it's just like you can't resist it it's such a powerful groove it is and um, we, we look forward to hearing you on Friday September 13th at the Arena Theater right here in Houston, Texas Tom, thank you so much again for your time and um, we'll see you down the road yeah buddy Thanks, Gary. You betcha. Take care. Bye. All right, you too.